Hello everybody and welcome back to another blind let's play of Persona 4. Oh hey, weren't we gonna see about talking to Rise? Yep, that's exactly what why I was expect what I was expecting that we would go to talk to Rise. I was so shocked that I lost track of what we were talking about. Let's head over to Rise's place. As for Teddy, he's with the girls, so he should be fine. You went home to change before heading to the shopping district. Oh, why did we go change clothes? Mm -hmm. It's finally the season for topsicles again. <laughs> Dude, how many are you going to eat? You're gonna get a stomach ache. <sighs> Sorry, we're late. How'd it take you that long to find clothes for Ted? Huh. Whoa. I is that you, Teddy? Oui, monsieur. How do I look? Uh. C'est magnifique. C'est magnifique. Uh, don't encourage him. <laughs> I have to say, it totally blew my mind. But he's, he's Teddy, all right. This guy had to make it a huge ordeal. Everything was new to him, so it turned into a big mess. He was so excited in the women's section that he started blabbering. Yeah. Hey, you can't just go around doing whatever you please when you're in this form, got it? Well, he can't help it. It's his first time in our world. Oh, Yukiko, you are so understanding. <sighs> all right. You don't need to get all mopey like that. I never said I won't forgive you. I'm so glad. I was worried that you didn't like me anymore. Aww. <laughs> Man, if you can behave yourself, you'll be pretty cute. Is he cute? What do you think, Kanji? <laughs> huh? What are you asking me for? Yeah. Well, I was just wondering if he was your type. <laughs> oh, I get it. What you're really asking is, will you please beat the shit out of me, Kanji? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's one of these chuckle moments. It ain't funny, Yukiko-senpai. Sorry. <laughs> oh, she's got a laughing fit. You'll have to forgive Yukiko, she's helpless when she gets this way. Oh, please, everyone. Don't fight over me, baby. Oh, God. Shut up! You picking a fight with me? <laughs> Jeez. Oh, well. Yosuke handed 10,000 yen bill to Kanji. Why? Here, Kanji. Get whatever ice cream you want. Just... Share it with Teddy. We're gonna head for the tofu shop. Wait here until we get back. Wow, you're rich. You should see the amount of money that we get on the regular basis when fighting shadows. I can't just take this from you. Think of it as a welcome back party for Teddy. Just don't go around making a racket. Whoa, Yosuke, what's gotten into you? You're acting like a real senpai all of a sudden. Yeah. Oh, I get it. You might say differently, but you're still nice to Teddy. Well, I'm glad Yosuke's developing <laughs> such a mature adult, so oh. he doesn't let trifles bother him. Yeah. What? You're worrying me, Chie. Oh, it's about Teddy's clothes, that's all. We, we didn't have the money for them, so we charged the rest to you. <laughs> Charge? What? You put it on my account? Ah, oh, what the hell, Chie? I never said you could do that. What else were we supposed to do? The stuff was expensive, even for Jeunesse. You seriously charged it to me? Ah. Uh. Why would you do that? You know I've been saving up to buy a motorcycle. Oh, that? You don't need one. Walking's healthy. What? Come on, baby. Stop fighting over it. Shut up! This is your fault, you know. 
You listen here, Ted. You better take really, really, really good care of that. If you put even a single tear in it, I'll make your next set of clothes out of the bear hide you took off. Oh, fighting. Hey, Don't let it get you down. Let's go get some topsicles. <laughs> going to be a while. Yeah. Oh, look at that. It's Malto. Ah. Uh, I had a feeling you'd come. You're Are you here to ingratiate yourself with Rise Kujikawa now? even let them charge it to someone else huh wait you're that guy we saw with kanji precisely i don't believe we've met since then in fact i don't believe i've ever introduced myself <laughs> my name is naoto shiragane look at that i knew I'm the investigating name investigating the multiple murders that have occurred here Mind if I ask you a few questions on the subject? The sure. Lady, Kinshiro Muraoka. He was a teacher at the school you all attend, correct? So what? The public is focused on the fact that he is associated with the second victim's school. But in truth, that's irrelevant. What intrigues me is the inconsistency. This Muraoka has never appeared on television. Well, he or she has got on quick. I think Nado is a woman, by the way. I'm pretty sure of that. What do you make of that? At the very least, the voice actor is a woman, so... I have a good How trap we sense. To know? Well, we'll leave it at that. For my part, I'd like to solve this case as quickly as possible. I'll be keeping an eye on you all. Okay. Well then, until we meet again. Well, see ya, Nauta. Who is that guy? It felt like he completely saw through us. He even knew about the TV thing. Oh, hi. Ah, oh, Rise. Rise-chan! Are you okay now? Good, good. Are you all here to check up on me? Well, yeah. Oh, um, do you guys have a moment? There's something I want to tell you. Okay. Follow me. My grandma's taking care of the shop today. Huh? Sure, okay. Tatsuhime Shrine. Okay. Yeah, I remember being at my house. When I came to, though, I was already in the other world. Hmm. Still no real information on the killer. We met this weird kid named Naoto a second ago. Oh, he's come to the shop several times. He asked me a lot about the incident. I didn't tell him anything about the other world, though. I figured it'd be a waste of time. Actually, he asked me about you guys, too, but I just made up some stuff. Okay. Like, they found me unconscious on the roof at Jeunesse. Well, I guess that's close enough to the truth. <laughs> yeah. Um, so... What's up? Um, I really appreciate what you did for me. Thank you so much! I love you guys! Aw, oh, that's a surprising huh? change. Aw, oh, you don't have to thank us. Dude, she's so cute! Man, it's finally hitting me that you're the real deal. You really are Lisette. 
Well, I know I sounded gloomy and all from stress, so I, I thought you might not like me that way. Do I sound weird? Oh, but I guess it sounds more natural this way to the public. I'm sorry. I've practically lost touch with what the normal me is like. <laughs> no need to apologize. Just do what comes natural. Yeah, just act natural. It's better that way. Everyone has multiple sides to them. You don't have to force yourself to decide on just one. You could say that everybody wears a multiple personas. <gasps> <laughs> it sounds convincing when Yukiko says it. Huh? Uh, really? Mm. Thanks. <laughs> I'm glad you're the first people I got to know here. Ah. Oh yeah, we almost forgot your present. The teddy glasses. Um, y you don't have to take them, but... Daddy gave you a pair of glasses to hold on to for when Risa joined you. But what should you say when giving them to her? Senpai, would you be struggling without my help? I can help you in that world, right? Yeah. With my power. So wouldn't it be better if I joined the team? Uh, it's those classes. Of course, it's them. Those classes. These are kind of like proof that you're one of us. You explained the effect of the glasses to Risa. I see. I do remember you all wearing glasses over there. Thanks, Senpai. Now I'm part of the team too. Uh, which classes are those? Are those the fake classes? She'll definitely be a strong asset in solving the case. Yeah. Are those the dumb glasses? Are we gonna get another full rank up? That's pretty cool. Social link level up. I'll be going to Yasugami High starting tomorrow. But oh. I don't have any friends yet, so don't ignore me, alright? <laughs> oh, I certainly won't be ignoring you. I do owe you for a life. So well, I will for a while, but <laughs> Leave it to me. <laughs> Courage has increased. Wow, I didn't realize you were so cool, Senpai. This sure is a rough time to transfer here, though. The kidnappings, King Moron's death, all that, and exams are soon too. Oh, exams. <sighs> now I'm depressing myself. I wonder if there's any chance they'll be canceled. Oh, that'd be fantastic, but no. I doubt it. They always hold exams, rain or shine. Yeah. <laughs> I almost got killed by those monsters. Compared to that, exams are nothing. Alrighty then. Let's discuss the case some more tomorrow at our special headquarters. Yo, how's it going? Dude, Teddy ate five topsicles. Though if you count the ones I had before, well, that makes six. So I still win. <laughs> no one asked. We're all done talking already. Let's go, Senpai. Uh -huh. When did you get so chipper? Do you go to Yasugami like Senpai? I'll be starting school there tomorrow, so I hope we get along too. Huh? Oh. Cool. <laughs> uh, what grade are you in? <laughs> so where's Teddy? He's over there finishing up his fifth topsicle. What are we gonna do with him? Well, I guess I'll take him home. No, that's surprisingly helpful of you, Yosuke. Good evening. This is Nightline News. Our top story for the night concerns the latest developments in an ongoing story. Okay. The serial murder case in Inaba has claimed a third victim. Let me just check. When is the um, next... Uh, when is the test? Ah, they are starting pretty goddamn soon, actually. I think. No, it's... When is the test going to start? Um, 
They're going to start on the 19th, apparently. Oh boy, I hope we can get our rank up by that time. At least I think it's gonna start on the 19th. The news shocked local residents, who have not seen another murder in three months, and assumed the spree had reached its end. The deceased taught at a local high school. Since his body was found arranged in a similar manner as the last two victims... Hmm? King Moron's picture is in the news. It seems he really was murdered. What's wrong? Was it... someone you know? He died? Yeah. Nanako seems scared. I'm here with you. You calmed Nanako down. Understanding has increased. Oh. I'm all right. Nanako seems somewhat relieved. This marks the second consecutive death after Miss Saki Konishi's, where the target was involved with Yasogami High. Mr. Morooka was known for his strict teaching methods and is said to have had constant friction with his students. Yep. The police will be pursuing this line of inquiry and are planning to begin a large-scale investigation tomorrow. We now turn to our reporter at the scene for more details. Uh, the news is livelier than usual. Dad won't be coming home again today. No, Nanako. Maybe you should try another magic trick. You move a finger on your right hand. To your left hand! Huh? Do it again! Do it again! <laughs> this time you move our finger on the left hand. To your right hand. Nanako seems to have cheered up. Aww. You put Nanako to bed and decided to call it a night as well. Oh? This place. Welcome. It's been quite some time. It seems that you've been called to the Velvet Room. Do not be alarmed. You are fast asleep in the real world. I have summoned you within your dreams. Are we gonna get a chance to do the better fusions? Or not that uh, the ability to proceed. the ability to do better fusions? Are you gradually drawing nearer to a solution to the mystery? I don't know. Indeed. The fog clouding your path is thick. The season has changed, but your future is not yet closed. In time, a path will open to you. Okay. Our true reason for calling you here tonight is to provide a new form of assistance to help you achieve just that. Uh-huh. Okay. Fusing personas. Have you been using our services diligently? The aid we will henceforth provide is an advanced form of Aha, fusion. I knew it! I speak of the power to fuse four or more personas at once. Ah, I, I knew it! That this will enable you to command even stronger powers. New type of fusion is now available. Now. Your journey will soon reach its climax. And as a result, many challenges, which I cannot foresee at present, await you. Okay. The most interesting. <laughs> <laughs> well, until we meet again, farewell. Okay, and we're gonna get another storyline event, I think. Yo! Yo! 
Still can't believe it. Our homeroom teacher was killed. I couldn't get that much that much sleep yesterday. How about you? Are you alright? I'm okay. Well, if we start getting depressed over something like this, we'll never catch the killer, huh? Oh yeah, this means we'll be getting a new homeroom teacher. I wonder who it'll be. Well, I'm pretty sure that they won't be any able to find anyone worse than King Moron. The classroom is bustling. Hey, is that stuff about King Moron for real? It was on TV, right? It must be true. Good morning. Okay. I'm Kashiwagi, your new class teacher starting today. You all probably know already, but now that Mr. Moroka has passed away, uh, I'll be taking hum. good care of you instead. <laughs> okay. Well, why don't we start off with a moment of silence for Mr. Moroka? Close your eyes, everyone. That should be enough. I'll do my best to fill Mr. Moroka's shoes. So, our regular exams are still on track for next week. <sighs> As your principal said, it's times like these when the schedule is most important, Norichan. <laughs> oh, it must be tough for you. Oh boy. But that's what it means to become an adult little by little. I already can't stand her. First King Moron and now Kashiwagi? How much worse can it get? Oh, and one more thing. That idol in our first year class, Ms. Kujikawa, was it? In person, <laughs> she's nothing like she seems on TV, so don't get your hopes up, okay? Okay. What's so great about an idol anyway, right class? She's just a piece of inexperienced jailbait. Okay. Miss Kashi Kashibagi is ranting on and on. What's up with her? Does she think she's Rosette's rival? She doesn't stand a chance against Rosette. I mean, I heard Kashiwagi is on the wrong side of 40. <laughs> you can hear your classmates gossiping. I bet King Moron would have been ecstatic to hear Rosette had enrolled here. Someone told me they saw him buying Rise's pinup book. That sounds kind of pervy. He annoyed the hell out of me, but I feel bad that he got killed. Oh, you know what? Rosette was on a strip tease show. Hmm? A strip tease? Dude, if that was true, the paparazzi would have been all over it. I'm serious. But the reception went bad right when it was getting to the good part. It was on that midnight channel everyone keeps talking about. Ah, uh, the news. Yeah, now. that things are. They're still talking are about you? that, huh? Trust me, you were dreaming it. The rumor about the midnight channel is spreading further. We'd better wrap this case up quick. Anyways, let's meet up later. Don't make any plans for this afternoon. Okay. Uh, finals are next week. It's been a while since I failed any subjects. Yeah. If by a while you mean all the time. Shut up! Like you've ever seen my scores. But Chie always has above average marks in the subjects that she doesn't fail. <laughs> <laughs> That's not really encouraging. Hey! Why did you tell him? My scores just vary. Yeah, that's it. Oh boy, that sounds really bad. Take me a while to make any friends at my new school. 
Oh. Met under such awful circumstances. Oh yeah. What do you guys think about King Moron's case? Yeah. He didn't show up on the Midnight Channel even once. If this person had been inside the TV, I would have sensed it. My nose isn't as sharp now, but I can tell that much. But they found the body on a foggy day again, right? Mm -hmm. They said on the news that the crime scene was just the way it was for that announcer and Saki Senpai. I really wonder about the culprit's motives. Why was Mr. Moraoka targeted? Hope it wasn't personal. Cause there's way too many people who ate a King Moron's guts. Yeah. But didn't you say it's people who get famous on TV who are targeted? If the killer's choosing targets by watching TV, I picture him as someone who doesn't know the victims at all. I don't think it's worth trying to figure out motives for that type. There are too many people who hold grudges against you for no reason, even if you've never met them before. Hmm. Ha, <laughs> you sound like you speak from experience, Risa-chan. But with King Moron, he didn't appear on the Midnight Channel or the regular TV. Uh, I don't get this at all. Yeah, two victims in a row from our school. That's got to set off the police's alarm bells. They're not going to leave any stones at school unturned. Yeah, and we are going to be subject you know, to suspects be honest, as well. Somewhere deep inside, I thought maybe King Moron was the killer. The news says that he was the second victim from Yasugami High, but we all know that's not the case. And I've heard him say more than once that so-and-so deserves to die. But now, I feel bad that I doubted him. He was a capital A asshole, but that doesn't justify killing him. And not True. just King Moron. I feel sorry for all the victims. I can't forgive the killer, no matter what! We'll do what we can, for King Moron's sake, too. At yeah. this rate, you have to figure that the killer has something to do with the school, right? A so dedication! That won't be necessary. Oh, Naoto? You! There is no need to examine the case of Mr. Moraoka any further. Why is that? Apparently, the police have found a suspect. It would be best to let them handle the case from here. Okay. How do you know? I'm on this case as a special investigator. By request of the prefecture... I already police. knew that. What? They found a suspect? Who is it? As to his name, I haven't been informed. I do know that he is a high school. Oh, 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 oh. It isn't public knowledge yet, but he isn't a student of your high school. Oh, oh, okay. It seems they are quite confident that this boy is the killer. They have testimonies directly linking him with the incident. Huh. I expect it's only a matter of time before he is apprehended. Soon this case will be solved and your town will once again be its peaceful, rustic self. The suspect is a high schooler? All right. So why come tell us? That's confidential info, right? Why run right here and spill it? Your game will soon reach its end. Okay. I, I should at least let you know that. Just as long as it ends. You don't deny, then, that you have involved yourselves in the matter? Well, no matter. I have no reason to say anything further. A game? Aren't you the one who thinks of this as a game? <sighs> I don't care if you're a special investigator or an amateur sleuth. All you're doing is solving mysteries. Hmm. What could you possibly know about us? You're the one who's playing a game here. One of the victims? She meant a lot to me. How could I possibly treat this like a game? Plus, we made a promise. Yosuke. A game. 
That may be quite true. Why so understanding all of a sudden? Hmm. Oh, I get it. I was Lamp shading. Be wandering around like this when the police have a suspect. Lamp shading this so openly. This is pretty hilarious, actually. What did they get rid of you now that they have their man? Is that why you came here? You were lonely. <laughs> Detectives normally aren't involved with arrests, and we never harbor any special emotions regarding a case either. Okay. Still, it is rather unfortunate that people are only attentive so long as our services are required. Okay. But then, I'm accustomed to it. Hmm. Much about this case was perplexing, but its solution was surprisingly simple. Well then, I'll be going now. Okay. What was that about? He just said his piece and left. Hmm. He said they have a suspect, but is this really going to solve everything? Yeah, it's not going to solve anything. Who knows? It's not even the right suspect, I think. You all decided to call it a day. I'm pretty sure that they are, they've got the wrong suspect. And that will be a good place to end the episode. So, thank you all very much for watching. I hope to see you in the future. Have a great day and stay awesome. Ganmu out. Thank you all very much for watching.